Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys the God Mode 9 i file browser for Nintendo DS, Nintendo DSi, and 3DS. So basically, what you want to do, I will be using my 3DS in this video, but just take out your SD card, connect this to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so over on your PC, I will leave a link to God Mode 9 i in the description, and here are the features of it. So basically, um, it allows you to do file browsing between the SD card and flash card, so that is pretty cool. Um, I'd say this is probably the best on DSi. Unfortunately, my DSi is just completely screwed. I don't think the SD card slot works or the game slot works, so um, I can't even play games on it or, you know, use an SD card, so that's annoying. But I will be showing you how to do this on my 3DS anyway. Um, it also has Nitro FS browsing um, in an NDS file. And if you're using the 3DS, you can do firm payload booting from both the SD card and the flash card, so that is pretty cool. Um, but it only works if it's being run as a off the SD card or as a CIA. I will be installing it as a CIA in this video. Oh, this also requires Bootstrap 9 to be installed. I've already got it. And for the original DS and um, like DS Lite, um, you can use GBA ROM dumping, so you can back up your Game Boy Advance games as ROM files and save them on your flash card. So these are the flash card that it supports. Again, unfortunately, I don't even have one of these. Uh, the Ace Card 2 and then the R4 Ultra. You guys can Google them, check you have them. I think I've got about four flash cards now and I don't even own these two. Um, here's some screenshots of just what it looks like. So it looks very basic. And this is just being run in the no GBA emulator. So guys, if you want to install this on your DS, DSi or 3DS, scroll down and we want to go to the releases. So just click on this link right here. And it's going to bring us out to the GitHub page. So we want to download this zip file, uh, which was updated two days ago. So just click on it and it will begin downloading. So once that has finished downloading, you can head over to your PC's downloads folder and find it in there. So get the zip file, right click it and select extract here and it's going to give you two files. This one is for DSi and Nintendo DS and then this one here is for 3DS. So the one with CIA at the end, if you don't have extensions enabled, you can just right click properties and see it's a CIA. So we are going to copy this to our 3DS SD card and I'm going to put mine in this CIA's folder. So just copy and paste it across, it will copy across very quick. Now I'll go back onto my 3DS and show you guys what it's like. Right guys, so on my 3DS, I'm just going to install the CIA, so you would use FBI for that. So just press A to launch that up. Now I'm going to look for my CAIs folder, um, it's on the SD. And then CAIs right here. And now we're just looking for the God Mode 9 ICAI, which is this one right here, so just press A on it and let's install the CIA. Okay, so that should install very fast. Just press A, press B a few times to go back and then press start to exit. So here it is guys, God Mode 9 by Rocket Robs. So press A to unwrap it. And here it is, so very basic, but we can just press A to open it. And now this is exactly what it looks like, a very basic file browser, as you can imagine, um, this is probably a lot better on the DSi, just because there isn't really something like this already um, on that console, but anyway, we can browse through the files, so we can go onto the SD card, we can press A, and we can browse everything, so obviously we've got all our files up here, NDS, um, we can find the CIA's file that I had, um, which is this one right here. You can press A to go into stuff as well, and you can find files. Now we have all the options down here. So we can actually delete this CIA, because I won't be installing it again. So God Mode 9 CIA, and you can have a look at options here, it is X to delete. So I press X on this one, and then A for yes. It will delete it in a split second like that. We've also got Y for copy, uh, select to restore the clipboard, and power um, to reboot, or we can just hold the power to power off. So yeah, you can imagine uh, this is a lot better, obviously on the DSi, just because there isn't really something like this already, and you can also use this on the original 3DS as well. 
So if you're wondering what select does, you pretty much press it and it just refreshes everything like that. So now we can just hold the power and that will just power off. So that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to make a video on this because it is pretty cool. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you guys it being run on a DSi um, because that is pretty much what it's for. Obviously, you can use it on the 3DS, but there is other stuff you can use instead of this. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.